Okay, so Meg and Harry, they've released a brand new photo of little baby Sussex on their Instagram account. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at this new photo they've got. Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, has paid tribute to her husband, Prince Harry, on his birthday with an Instagram post. The Sussex Instagram account shared a photographic collage of Harry, who turned 35. The post includes a picture of Harry as a baby with his mother, Princess Diana. Also included is a previously unseen black and white photo of Meghan and Harry with baby Archie at his christening. Well, there we go. So that's pretty cool. Um, also, let's, let's have a look at the actual... Uh, I'll just change the Safari window. Let's have a look at uh, what else is going on here on the Instagram post. So we've got little we've got baby uh, him as a baby with Lady Diana. It looks like his first day of school with Prince William. Uh, not too sure where that is. Meeting some kids in Africa. I think that's when he was in Africa because uh, he spent quite a bit of time in Africa. That's in the army, and uh, that looks like. Papua New Guinea, bottom left there, and when they got married, of course, and new photo of baby Sussex, and I've actually got a got a photo, got a blown up photo here. Where are we? Uh, let's see if we can get that up. I'll be on the preview window. Let's get that one up. So, preview. Screenshot. There we go. So there's little baby Sussex. <laughs> now what's the what's the bet? I don't I don't know I don't know whether they're going to uh, show much little baby Archie, little baby Archie uh, when they go to Africa. I'm 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 not getting my hopes up because every time we get our hopes up that they're going to show a lot of baby Archie, uh, it just never happens. It just never happens. So let's assume we're not going to see baby Archie during the tour. And we're just going to get photos released like this every once in a while. So, um, yeah. Oh well, it is what it is, I guess. Okay. So next on my next on my agenda. Why am I wearing Why am I wearing this long sleeve top? For two reasons. <laughs> First, it's a little bit cold. Um, we had a bit of a we had a bit of warm weather coming through. It's heading towards summer. It's like you know, spring now. Just just the beginning of spring, but. Um, had a bit of warm weather and I was getting used to it and then uh, got a bit cold so that's one reason also if it, uh, if anyone was watching Ellen uh, just the other day or would have been yesterday in America they um, had Brad Pitt on and so I thought I'd, I'd do something different today I'm going to talk about Brad Pitt because Brad Pitt's one of my favorite actors so uh, we'll get we'll get the uh, get Safari window back and let's have a bit of a chat about Brad Pitt so if you're interested, just hang on here. <laughs> so now this now this top this top uh, he, the first time I sort of saw this, for putting a T-shirt over the top was in the movie called The Mexican. So um, you can see here he's wearing wearing a T-shirt over the top. So so when I it's just it was just a coincidence. I just sort of it was a bit cold and I put this over here and I sort of thought, oh, it's all tying together nicely because I just finished watching because I record Ellen's show every day just in case she's got some great interviews on and of course she had Brad Pitt on and he's um, promoting his new movie at Astra and um, usually usually I'm fairly cynical usually when when there's a uh, actor on promoting a movie it's usually because the movie's not going to do too well so they need to promote it heaps to try and get people to go and see it but um, it's been getting good reviews it's been good good reviews at Astra and I want to go see it when it comes out but anyway, let's let's have a look at some some of my favourite Brad Pitt movies. I have got a list of his films here. Now, what's your favourite Brad Pitt movie? Now, what was interesting? Let's uh, let's actually zoom in on this. Uh, Control plus. There you go. Let's have a look at his filmography here. Brad Pitt's filmography. So his first movie was Hunk. Never seen it. Now, No Way Out. That was that was a movie with Kevin Costner. I remember that. There we go. And apparently he was in a black tie party guest. <laughs> I'm going to do a search for this. I'm going to do a search for this. Brad Pitt. No way out. Uh, let's have a look here. Because I can't, I seriously can't remember him uh, in the movie. Uh, are they going to show him? That doesn't like. 
Extra rolls of Brad Pitt. That looks like him there. Uh, okay. Let's see if we've got images. Uh, well, there's Kevin Costner. But where's Brad Pitt in the scene? <laughs> That's Charlie Sheen. Well, apparently there's an extra in No Way Out, but they're not showing any screenshots. And if I show the clip, I'm sure it's going to get flagged. Okay. Oh, YouTube, they're getting really, really heavy on copyright now. I uh, just got a copyright flag for, um, which one was it? When Princess Charlotte, uh, first day of school, Associated Press UK, apparently owned that footage, so... No, I'm not, I'm not going to fight it. I, I could, I could uh, do a counterclaim and say it's uh, news reporting and so forth and probably re-monetize it, but, it's, you know, it's news footage, and after the after first couple of days... The views just go, go you know, zipped right down. So, anyway, so no way out. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go see that movie again, and and I'm gonna go try and spot Brad Pitt now. No Man's Land, never heard of that one. Uh, but Less Than Zero, I remember that one with uh, Andrew McCarthy, and he was, he was, play, what, what did he play there? Party goer, preppy guy at fire. <laughs> All right, okay. These movies I've never heard of. Dark Side of the Sun, Happy Together, Cutting Class, Cross the Tracks. Okay, so this was this was when he became really famous. Thelma and Louise, Thelma and Louise with um, Gina Davis and Susan Sarandon, cult movie. Uh, Johnny Swade, no, uh, actually I have heard of Contact, of course. That was with uh, oh, what's his name, um, uh, Jodie Foster, I think, wasn't it Contact? Cool World, River Runs Through It, that was really good. As with, yeah, yeah, yeah Tom Skerritt from Top Gun, uh, Robert Redford directed it, yeah, I remember that movie too. That was quite a good movie. But, um, what's your favourite movie? I'm going to reveal my favourite movie in a minute as we run through this California. Uh, yeah, David Duchovny, that's right, he was in that. I think that was fairly adult, that movie. True Romance. Favorite interview with Vampire, of course, with Tom Cruise, and um, uh, there's quite a few. Um, who's the guy? I'm terrible with names, <laughs> as you know. I'm, I'm picturing the guy in my head, but I can't remember his name. Um, Legends of the Fall, that was a really good movie with Anthony Hopkins, yeah. Aiden Quinn, yeah. Seven, ah, oh, actually, I might change my favorite movies. Seven was probably one of my favorite movies. Um, I just remember Kevin Spacey at the end from that one, 12 Monkeys. You know, some people rave about that movie, but um, it's a bit dark. I don't really like two dark movies. Sleepers, what was that about? One, no, no, no Devil's Own. Ah, looks like they're not coming up now. They're... Let's reload it. Let's reload it. I see the thumbnails come up. Uh, there we go. Yeah, oh, here we go. Devil's Own. That was a really good movie with Harrison Ford, and he was played an Irish Irish person. Actually, it was quite funny. Uh, the other day, I saw um, a, a little segment on. I can't remember who was talking about it, and I was talking about. I think it was a comedian who was talking about uh, um, Sean Connery. Hey, he's such a big star that he he never changed his accent, <laughs> and no joking about how. He played in Highlander. He actually played. Um, what did he play? He, he played um, a Spanish guy, a Spanish guy, but he kept his he kept his Scottish accent. It's like, well, why didn't he play Highlander? You know, Scottish. And the uh, actual Highlander was played by Anthony Lambert, who's Belgium, and they were just <laughs> joking about that. You had to see it. Now, this, this is this is one of my favourite Brad Pitt movies. I'd say. The favourite, but I'm probably going to change my mind now because I'm looking down his filmography. Seven Years in Tibet. If you haven't seen it, go see it. It's a brilliant, brilliant movie. It's about how uh, he was a uh, German or Swiss climber and he and he managed to uh, run into the Dalai Lama and befriended the Dalai This is based on a true story. befriended the Dalai Lama. There we go. Austrian. He was Austrian. Oops. There we go. Back, uh, get, the, get the thing back here. Yeah, he was an Austrian climber and he met the Dalai Lama. And uh, and it is actually a true story. It's a film based on the book. Blah, blah, blah. But um, 
Yeah, apparently they were friends of like still friends. Yeah, meet Joe Black. Now that was that was a that was a very interesting movie. That, that, that actually might top seven years to bet. He really this whole period here from say the Devil's oh probably where are we interviewed a vampire probably yeah well from Thermal Louise onwards he was famous but I reckon from the river runs through it. That's when he really hit hit his uh, hit his peak here up through here. Uh, meet Joe Black, Fight Club, of course. I won't give away what that's about. Being John Markovich, I've never seen that movie. Apparently, it's very good. Snatch, <laughs> uh, yeah, Guy Ritchie. You can't understand him in Snatch. He's he's pretty. <laughs> he's got such a broad accent. Um, the Mexican, which I was talked about, that is a very good movie. That's my top, one of my top five, I'd say. Spy Game, Robert Redford, yeah. Oceans, then the Oceans movies, Oceans 11. Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, I haven't seen him in that. Legends of the Seven Sea, okay. So he did the animation there, Troy. Mm, I think I started watching Troy, I didn't really think too much of it. Uh, Oceans 12, got Mr. and Mrs. Smith, now. Uh, yeah, that's in my top five. So I'm thinking uh, 7. I reckon my top one so far is 7. Devil's Own, 7 Years in Tibet, Meet Joe Black. CG, so, I'm already up to 4. I might have to do top 10. Mexican was very good. Spy Game was pretty decent. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. That's when he met Angelina Jolie. Uh, God grew tired of us. Never heard of that one. The Departed. That was a very, very good movie. Great cast, Martin Scorsese, Scorsese movie with yeah, Leo, Leonardo DiCaprio, Matt Damon, Jack Nixon, Mikey Wahlberg, and Martin Sheen, amongst others. It was a very good movie, that one. Running with Scissors, never heard of that one. Babel, that was fairly dark. That was pretty intense, that movie. Uh, the Tahikwan Project, Year of the Dog, never heard of that one. A Mighty Heart, that was, a, that was pretty full on, that movie. Yeah, that is very, very dark. Not dark, dark as in subject matter, not uh, Asian, another Oceans movie, Assassination of Jesse Jane. Yeah, I remember that movie. That was, that was reasonable. Burn After Reading, that's sort of half comedy. Ah, uh, Benjamin Button, Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Full on. That is one of, probably one of the most clever movies I've ever seen. We, we ages backwards, Inglorious Bastards. That was a Tarantino, wasn't it? Yeah, Tarantino movie. All Tarantino movies are fairly quirky. Time Traveller's Wife. I can't. I cannot remember him in that. What did he play in that? I oh, he directed it. There you go. Uh, so here we go. Some of them he's directed as well. Uh, so Marty Hardy wasn't in it. He's just saying actor. Yeah, okay. So here we go. That's why I'm not remembering him. So he didn't. He wasn't in The Departed or... Uh, Mighty Heart, but uh, Angeline Jolie was in that one. Uh, what else have we got here? So here we go. So he didn't act in that one either. Mega Mind. So that's a animated movie. He does Eat, Pray, Love. He directed it. He produced it, did he? Let's say director or producer. So who's a producer and Eat, Pray, Love with uh, uh, Julia Roberts? Where are we up to? Tree of Life. He produced and acted in that one. I haven't seen that one. Uh, Moneyball. I do have that one, but I haven't watched it yet. Happy Feet 2, of course. Killing Them Softly. I have got that one too. haven't seen it. World War Z. I don't think I've seen that one either. Kick-Ass 2, Big Man. 12 Years a Slave. Okay, so... Where's Brad Pitt in that one? Samuel Bass. I have seen 12 Years a Slave. I can't remember Brad Pitt being in that. That's the one of Leonardo DiCaprio, isn't it? Or am I thinking of... Ah, oh, no, I'm thinking uh, Django Unchained. 12 Years a Slave. Oh, I know that was a very good movie. Very, very good movie. The Counselor, I remember that one. That was that was average. Uh, Fury, that was a war movie. Selma, True Story, Audition by the Sea. So sort of... Mm, I think he sort of hit his peak around... Uh, as I said, around when he was doing movies like uh, Seven Years to Bet, Devil's Own, that sort of thing. And he's sort of eased off a bit here. But I think he's making a comeback. 
So Moonlight, that, that one best picture when he directed, um, I mean produced that. The Big Short, that was a good movie. That was very good. Uh, Voyager, what else we got here? Deadpool 2, can't remember him in that. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, I want to see that. <laughs> and then uh, Ad Astra, and he's got, oh, gee, he's got two more coming out this year. He's got The King, which he's not... Uh, so it looks like he's he's doing a lot more a lot more producing roles now. So he's going to produce that and also Kajili now. All right, so he's going to produce that as well. So there we go. So leave leave your um, leave your comments down below. What's your what is your favourite Brad Pitt movie? I reckon I reckon I could pick 10, 10 at least out of there, ten to fifteen, which are really up up there with my favourite movies. So. Um, if I was going to pick one, I'd probably say Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I I really love that movie, and also also Benjamin Button. I reckon it would be my top two, as well as uh, Seven Years in Tibet. Jeez, there's so many, isn't there? <laughs> so many great movies. So yeah, if you haven't seen uh, Ellen's interview with Brad Pitt, uh, he basically was hit there the whole show. He he started off in the audience. It was all staged, of course. You start off in the audience, and was, and uh, you should have seen your reactions of the females in the audience. It was just crazy. I was just going nuts. And um, then they had the guy from Will and Grace on, and then they swapped seats, and and Ellen interviewed him. And apparently, uh, Brad Pitt, uh, uh, one of one of Brad Pitt's girlfriends, apparently Ellen said she, that she dated as well. So that was interesting. I haven't. I was going to look that up. I haven't, I haven't figured out who it was, but um, anyway, this video is going too long, isn't it? Oh yeah, let's let's get out of here. Uh, anyway, so I hope you enjoyed that uh, video on Meghan Markle and Brad Pitt, and I'll see you next time. Uh, don't forget, we're going to have the Africa trip soon, so I'll be covering that as much as I can. Um, you know, I use my judgment. What's what's going to get flagged as copyright and what's not going to. So you know, if I'm missing bits, it's not because I don't want to report it. It's because I can see that it's proprietary footage and it's just going to get flagged, and risk of being taken down and all that sort of thing. So I'm I'm just sort of protecting my channel at the moment. I'm trying to trying to get it as as clean as possible and no copyright. Because uh, I'm you know, even even though I know a fair bit about copyright and I. It's, it's sometimes it's sort of touch and go what they're going to flag and that sort of thing. So I'm trying to trying to avoid any uh, copyright flags at all. Yeah, I don't, I don't get strikes from it. It's just they just demonetize it. Sometimes they'll block it. Sometimes they'll country restricted that sort of thing, and it's just a pain. So I'm trying to avoid it. Okay, guys, I'll see you next time. Cheers.